Vaughn CMS today. And we'll uh, we'll go ahead and we'll see what this guy's all about. It's on virtual uh, virtual box. It's on um, Vault Hub. This guy right here. So Vault Hub, Vault CMS. You should be able to find it just fine. Let's go ahead and look for it like, real quick. Vault CMS. And there it is. CMS one for Vault Hub. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. Uh, we'll start off with the Rust scan. Well, let's start with the map because I don't know what the IP address is for this guy. Uh, we got Vault CMS like right there. Let's go ahead and uh, Rust scan him. Uh, so we got port 80, 5081, and 9001. Let's go ahead and map tac P80, 5000. Um, 8081 and 9001. So let's see what's on port 80 there. See if we see anything that we know. Uh, not see anything yet. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. So port 80 looks like Nginx. Okay. W3CS. Okay. Uh, 5000 is WordPress. All right, 8081 is Joomla, and then 9001 is Drupal 7. Uh, let's start off with that Drupal 7 then. What's up? Uh, hey, Handles, how you doing? So it looks like 9001 is Drupal 7. We're going to start off with that, like right there. I wonder if just this whole thing's just one big CMS and they're all vulnerable or something. Kind of like how I did that Windows machine. Uh, that was 9001, right? Yeah, it's definitely Drupal. So let's go ahead and look up uh, Drupal 7 um, GitHub. Which should be either, it's either going to be Drupal or Drupal get in. Let's go ahead and do uh, Drupal get in. We'll try Drupal get in, then we'll try Drupal get in 2. Let's start going with 2, if we like it or not. Alright, that's the Ruby one, like right there for it though. Is that one for Metasploit, like right there? Nope, that one's an actual exploit right there. Let's go ahead and see if we can find uh, GitHub. Could also use a uh, Metasploit for this, but I'm just going to use a Python file for it. Let's see what we're looking at here. I think I still have one too on my GitHub. Repository. Let's go and search for Drupal. Drupal 8 reverse shell. Uh, I don't know if this one's going to work in Drupal 7. We give it a quick try. I'd be really, really surprised if it did. Let's go ahead and give it a try. See what we get here. Whoops. There we go. Okay. Okay. Damn it, Bobby. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, bash x.sh. See what we got to do here. Okay. Our host IP address is going to be uh, .52. Uh, our port, 9001. I'll host... We got 10, 10, 14, 13. I'll port, uh, we'll say 4444. Local web server port, we'll say port 80. And then I guess if we're going to start with web server. Okay, so make sure you start uh, Python server on that. Oh, it looks like we got to go ahead and do this like real quick. Uh, so did not get uploaded there. Is there information for the reverse shell? Okay, so that was not going to work for it. And it does actually listen out to it. Okay. I'm going to exit out of there. Clear that out. I know that one did work uh, at one point. Well, at least on Drupal 8 it does. Uh, just because um, I actually used it for um, 
virtual hacking labs. So let's go ahead and stick with the Drupal Geddon. And let's go ahead and grab this whole thing like right here. We'll try Drupal Geddon 2. Then from there, we'll try 3 after that. Um, what's up, Dimit Rovich? How you doing? We'll call it A.Pi or whatever. Okay. Let's go in Python, A.Pi, see what it's all about. I guess it's going to be 2. All right, so it looks like we need the URL of the target, which is going to be right here. And that looks like we're going to need a command. We try ID. All right, and that does work. We do get ID like right there. Okay, cool. So that does work. So let's go ahead and try that with a bash reverse shell, I guess. So we're going to do a bash tag C, telling bash to call for a command right. And then we're going to put this whole thing into there. And we do want to wrap all this also, like that. So whenever we put it up in there, it uh, does it properly. Uh, and that's going to be 192.168.0.26. And we're going to run something like this, like right here, right up here, right? And let's go ahead and start up a listener for 9999. And we'll go ahead and we'll send that off. And we do get a reverse shell. Cool. Um, I'm obviously uh, www data. So let's go ahead and get a full shell going here. See, we can run sudo. We cannot. Okay. Let's go ahead and cat see passwords. See what we got here. We got Tyrell and Elliot, it looks like. Elliot's actually an R bash, so restricted bash. So, probably have to remember that for later on. Uh, I did see something about robots up in, um, what was it, WordPress up here? Wherever we uh, looked at everything, I saw something about robots in there. So, that might be something. All right. Let's go ahead and, uh, See if we can look at Tyro. All right, so he obviously can actually sudo. Um, and okay, let's go and grep tech RWI for Tyro. All right, not find anything in there. Let's go and cat that web config. I always forget where the Drupal one is at. Let's go ahead and try to find like, where Drupal's at. Um, is it, let's see here. I thought it was in like configure or configure something like that, but that's not up here. Cron includes install modules. Let's go and CD in the sites. Uh, let's go ahead and cat that update.php actually. All right, there we go. Greptech RWI password. Go ahead and see if we see anything in here for a config file. And we can also just do a find slash tech name config.php. All right, we got... That's Joomla, 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 Joomla. So it looks like Drupal actually doesn't have anything for a config file. Let's go ahead and check out the Joomla one, though. Okay. Nothing in there. Uh, we can always try out this guy like right here. He'd actually be under WP config, that one like right there. So I may want to do a star. So we're going to do a star config.php. Okay, now we got all w, WP configs, but still nothing for Drupal, huh? So we go ahead and cat this like right here. We should be able to get a... Okay, so there's the password and the username for MySQL.
Okay, that one's actually just for WordPress, okay? So, still like wherever the Drupal one is at. Let's go ahead and try to look it up, see if there's a Drupal database anywhere. Settings.php? Let's go and try to find that. Okay, we do actually have that. Let's go and check out that guy. Okay, so we got Drupal admin, and that's the password for him. So, please that's going to be MySQL Drupal admin. Use Drupal DB. Show tables. Select star from users. All right, it looks like the only person that we have in here is admin CMS Drupal. Okay, I'll see if uh, any of those other people are in there. Okay. Etsy cron tabs. Um, all right, nothing in here. Okay. For opt. Uh, we got 8081 cred. Joomla CMS and then a password for that. Okay. Um, so we do have Joomla's uh, password and stuff like that. Uh, we'll have to remember that, that that's in there. Uh, let's go ahead and um, um, my D is just normal. Let's go and see the attempt. Let's go ahead and cat uh, SUID bits. You know, look like we have anything in here. Let's go ahead and get capabilities. Okay, nothing in there. Uh, let's go ahead and get CD or tools. We get limpies on this box. This is where I'm going to grab a drink like real quick. There's probably actually be a bunch of ways to get up to Wimpy's just because of uh, if this box is older. We're we'll probably going to have a bunch of different ways to get up and in. Oh, it can't be too old. Okay. There's Barwell 2021 4034. So we know that. So there's one way up. Is 4034 the best one or... No, nope, that's Python that one, so that one will most likely work. Works much more than the Bash script does. Uh, okay. No interior ports. We've seen all this, except for 3306. We've seen these guys from the outside, though. So nothing crazy going on there. That's what I saw. I saw F-Society for WordPress. I don't really see much else in here, except for obviously the WordPress user, MySQL, you know, all that good stuff. Drupal passwords, like right there for that. Drupal hash salt, okay. That's just the home example salt.txt, so nothing there. <clears throat> Joomla. We are looking at web.config file.
We can always try those, those passwords also for those users. Or we can go ahead and we can... Um, Grab my Linux privesk uh, bash script here. Run that, and we should become root with it. This one is on GitHub also. And it is uh, continuously updated. We still got a lot more to do on it too. Oh man, excuse me. It's probably going to take a second. It's obviously running limp like right now. And that's saving it also. So this part can take a minute. So if it looks like it's frozen, it's not. That's why it says this may take a few minutes. I'll all rotate on there. Vulnerable to that. Would you like to exploit this? Yes, please. Uh, yeah, we should be good. And we are root. All right, cool. So we're root there. All right. Let's go and see the root, see if they actually have any flags in here. Yep, they do. All right. Let's go and exit out of here. So 